Icon of the Seas is just a little over two months away from its inaugural sailing in Miami at the end of January 2024, and one of the hottest topics since it's become available for booking is that it's just too expensive. Do you agree? Hey everyone, Cruising with JT here, and today I'm going to talk about whether or not I believe Icon of the Seas is too expensive, and whether or not you should consider taking a cruise on this brand new class of ship. Here we go. that like button everyone and if you're not subscribed please do subscribe to my channel and also enable those notifications. When Icon of the Seas first became available for booking on October 24th, 2022, many cruise enthusiasts like myself woke up in the early morning hours to book a room by ourselves or while working with our agent to ensure we could lock in a great rate before prices skyrocketed. Many of us who were able to secure a deal that morning are very happy we did because our rooms are now almost double if not more than what we paid for as the demand has continued to go up. You may be wondering, is this my most expensive cruise ever? Yes, yes it is. This will be my 25th cruise and it's by far the most expensive cruise I've ever taken. I'm really happy that I'll be able to take my wife and daughter with me on this inaugural so they can experience what a maiden voyage is all about. And this will be my second inaugural cruise with the Royal Caribbean. For those that may remember, I did the Wonder of the Seas inaugural back in March of 2022 and that sailing was the same price per person I am paying for this one. But on that one, I went solo. So that may give you an idea as to how expensive this one is for my family. So you might be wondering, okay JT, so why is Icon of the Seas so expensive? Plain and simple, it's the most in demand cruise ship in the industry and Royal Caribbean knows that they can charge a high premium to guests for being the first to experience all that the ship has to offer. Now there are two preview sailings or welcome events that are happening a week prior to the January 27th inaugural sailing. A three night preview cruise from January 20th to January 23rd and another preview cruise from January 23rd to the 26th right before the first big sailing with paying passengers. The preview sailings are of course known as shakedown cruises where specific media and travel industry personnel come and check out the ship. This is by invitation only and while I was hoping to be invited given how much I've promoted Icon of the Seas, Royal Caribbean is targeting content creators and media who have a much larger audience which is totally understandable. No hard feelings. Besides, I'll be on it for 7 nights soon after the welcome events and I'll be able to bring you plenty of Icon coverage. The reason the inaugural cruise is so expensive compared to other sailings after it is because there's only one inaugural cruise or maiden voyage. There's only one chance to say you were one of the first passengers on a brand new ship, in this case a brand new class of ship. In addition to being the first to experience everything, you also get to take part in inaugural events and get cool swag that no other cruise does, which you can take home as souvenirs and memories to cherish forever. Many loyal cruisers take great pride in knowing this and they just want to be the first to kind of experience it all. On top of that, you're the first to know about all the new shows, dining venues, and experiences on board including trying out all the new fancy drinks and brand new venues. Many cruisers who want to experience Icon will one day, but they won't be one of the first ones to do so and are willing to wait until later to experience it and what will likely be a lower cost. The inaugural is the most expensive sailing for Icon of the Seas in 2024 outside of the holiday sailings that they'll have later in the year. When you think about Icon of the Seas and what it has to offer, including all new dining venues such as the Empire Supper Club, which charges a hefty $200 per person price tag for an 8 course, 3 hour meal, you know that whoever is going on these cruises is likely paying a lot of money. But remember, while you'll be paying a lot of money for these experiences, they are like none other offered at sea, let alone on a brand new class of ship. Icon of the Seas is very expensive and that debate will be going on forever. And you'll notice that the pricing and demand doesn't really slow down even into 2025 and 2026 sailings. Simply because Royal Caribbean knows people will pay these crazy prices to experience this brand new class of ship. Do I think it's expensive? Definitely. But I also think it's worth splurging once in a while on a rare vacation experience that not many folks will get to do. The inaugural sailing of Icon of the Seas sold out in less than 24 hours and that day set a single day record for most bookings and deposits ever received by Royal Caribbean in their history. Think about that. In their history. Cruisers are ready to throw their money at these fancy exciting new ships. I know this because I'm one of them. Whether or not you decide to book Icon of the Seas in the future, you should definitely consider the reasons why many folks are paying up so much money to experience it. This doesn't mean you have to, as the cost for other ships will likely be going down and that's great news. The bottom line is, Icon of the Seas pricing will remain high until their second Icon class ship, Star of the Seas, debuts in 2025. And that may knock down the price of Icon just by a little bit, but hey, no guarantees. So are you booked on Icon of the Seas in 2024? 2025? 2026? If so, what are you most looking forward to and will it be your most expensive cruise ever? Do you think it's expensive? If you haven't booked yet, do let me know in the comments below why you aren't booking this brand new class of ship. 
Is it because it's too expensive? Is it too big? Do you prefer the smaller, more intimate ships? I'd love to hear from you on what you think about Icon of the Seas in the comments below. Thanks again for watching everyone and be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you again real soon. Take care. And a special shout out to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much for your additional support. If you'd like to become a Patreon or YouTube member, I'll include the links in the description below. It's basically a behind the scenes view of Cruising with JT and special access to various benefits and perks and inside information into my upcoming videos. So if you do decide to join, I truly appreciate your support. This video is sponsored by MEI Travel. Feel free to reach out to me at cruisingwithjt at gmail.com and I'll get you connected to my travel agent at MEI Travel. She'll take great care of you. And I'll also include the information in the description below. Thank you so much.